Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Welcome back to uh, the Adventures of the Voo Voo Boys in the Mad Games Tycoon Part 2. Uh, we're paused at the moment. This is not unusual. However, we're probably going to be paused for the entire time today. Won't that be nice? Well, maybe. Because we're going to go through some stats. <laughs> I'm not kidding, we're going to go through some stats, definitely. Uh, but first I thought we'd do a quick review of who's doing what and why. Uh, this is the uh, the second dev team. Uh, they're all currently learning how to be better programmers. I figure that a rising tide floats all tides uh, and boats and, and what have you. So that's, that's jolly good. Meanwhile, the arts and crafts team here, we're ready to disband. Uh, that's that's all ready to be disposed of, and we'll probably get to that shortly. Uh, at which point, a general reorganisation of the area is, I believe, in order. Good. Uh, down here over in Dev Central, uh, Boot Manager 2000 is coming along nicely. They've got loads of time. They've got the best part. In fact, they've probably got a whole year to finish off. And you know what else? I'm going to give them the whole year to finish off. They won't be uh, soaking in every single side team on the face of the planet when they uh, get it over the line. No, 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 no need for that. Uh, no, instead, uh, once once all of the side projects are done, we'll bust everything off else, everything else off onto its own kind of caper. Uh, so yeah, lots of work on Boot Manager going on. Uh, Cyber Sword versus Lord Cyclone. It's coming on. I mean, it's early days yet, but it's, you know, it's it's trotting along there. Uh, so, yeah, Game Hole 1 is currently unoccupied because they're all training. And then I can get more product into development, which will also be splendid. Uh, the Shills are doing some work on... Sorry, the Real Heroes, they're still Shills to me, uh, are still are doing some work on Mino Tourism Z, and the researchers are just researching uh, every theme under the sun just so we can clear it off. So... What are we going to look at? Well, it's going to be this button, fundamentally. Uh, let's go... I mean, here's, here's one that is quite good, is if we go to the weekly charts, it actually lists... I mean, this is the kind of thing you poke uh, when you're writing a book on the subject, and you kind of go, what else can I find out? So Minor Tourism is at 30 in the charts at the moment. Didn't know that, because it doesn't tell you. Well, it does. It's, it's hidden in plain sight there. Oh, yeah, so Gun Bunny's at 48, yeah. Plutonium Squad's at 38. We'd, we've not got any real uh, humdingers on the go at the moment, um, but that's that's okay too. Obviously, these, they don't, they don't count for anything. Uh, there are arcade games on the go, but, I mean, if you if you think about the number of units that we were doing, 431 as the, as the top of the tree, that's not a huge number. So there you go. So you've got all of those kind of things going on. Now... A lot of this is percolated, populated, and predicated on uh, on uh, competing titles, which I don't care about. We only care about our own stuff, so we'll go into our own stuff here. Uh, you've got the review scores. Now, Slammers is, you know, it's a compilation of a load of old Tosh. Uh, yeah, early days Tosh goes into, uh, goes into Slammers, which is why it got a good score. Boot Up is all of the early boot managers. Well, all of the early good boot managers... Probably, arguably. Uh, but then, Minotaurism. Yeah, yeah, no, the sequel, Minotaurism Z, is uh, is our best ever reviewed game. Then a couple of boot managers, then Silage Running. This information right here is a good one for, well, what should we focus on if we were going to do a sequel? Right? Yeah, no, that's, that's what it means. We, that's what we should be looking at. Uh, and then you go down to the bottom. In fact, I mean, look at this. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Think about the, the amount of sales we've got out of the flocks of Satan. Yeah. No, no, no. Just just not that good in terms of the number of franchises one has created. And there's the original and still the original uh, Funk Nuts Turbo Wheel Spin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then some bad arcade games. Yeah. And, uh, and a lot of other stuff that I'm intimately familiar with. User reviews I care less about because what do the users know? Uh, then we go to turnover. Now, starting off with dev costs, Gun Bunny Ultra cost us 10 million quid to make. We're going we're gonna to absolutely blitz through that as far as cost to, uh, cost to create title. But you can see it's a lot of the new stuff. The, the game development costs are creeping up. 
as you would expect. It's, I mean, it's one of the ways that the game kind of replicates inflation. But, uh, but fundamentally, the game costs, they are creeping up. I mean, look, it cost us 10 million, well, 9.1, to make the thing. And, uh, and we made a grand total of 460 grand in profit. That is not a good product. That is not a good title. No. No, so we should be we should be ashamed of that. Uh, total revenue numbers: forty-seven million from Mino Tourism. The Flock of Satan arcade game did twenty-two million. Off how many sales in total was that? Twenty-two thousand. It's not much at all. Yeah, arcade games are a, a solid way to make money, but they are going to die off. And I decided that the Jungle Jam Grand Slam was the last one that we were going to do, and it's right there. I'm, I could probably release that. Uh, later on as a as a standalone console title, but it only hit 75% on the user reviews, which mean nothing because the users don't know anything. Wagsim 1984. That's a flipping arcade game. These are all arcade games. I made loads of loads of revenue off them, not necessarily a huge amount of money. Um, but there's all kinds of, you know, oh, ooh, ah, going on in here. Uh, if we get to, uh, I mean, both the Conquest Corporations, just profit printers. Which is which is rather the theme of the game, I would argue. You know, it's, you know, consider that, why don't you? I'm sure you will do. Uh, right, then we've got total sales of PC and console games, of which I think... Didn't we just do this? Weren't we just here? No, this is unit sales. Oh, unit sales. Yeah. Ah, but what's our best ever skill game? Silage running. You didn't know that. Now you do. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I know. Make yourself comfortable. This is what we're doing. Um, uh, game analysis are all the reports I've ever done, but haven't written. And I'm not. I haven't. <laughs> I've ever done, but not read. That's that's what we're saying. Because I'm not going to read them because it's cheating. It is utterly unrealistic. Contract games. I've done one, and that was FX Ray Stars back in the back in the early old days. Distributed games. I've done one, and it cost me a bundle. But I'm going to do some more. Uh, because I think there's something in there that could be interesting. Uh, in terms of my own IPs, this gives you the uh, the rating of the IPs that you own. If I go popularity of the IP as the sort order, unsurprisingly, Boot Manager comes up top of the tree. It's worth 40 million quid if I were to license it out to someone else. I'm not going to do that, obviously. We've got a new game coming up, and that will make it even more value, valuable as a property. So, no, that's that's the thing that's not going to happen. But then you look at all the stuff that's been neglected, which I think is, yeah, here we go, uh, neglect of the IP. And I don't fully understand how it's ordering this. Yeah, the latest game was released 247 weeks ago. This one was even longer, though. Uh, 243. Oh, Hogwarts was 242. Really? I d did Death Ballon turn up in in Slammers? It might have done. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was 233. Toy Master, no, 228. What? Yeah. Hang on. I don't... What? Wag Sim certainly has not been... It's not, ha it's, it's not been out there in the last 207 weeks, because what you're talking about there is four years. Wag Sim was ages ago. That was January 1984. Yeah. No, I think this is on... Uh, this, is, this has been doing too many herbal remedies. Um, and the number of products. That's not telling me the number of products, though, is it? No. That's telling me something else in time. I don't know, but isn't it fascinating? Um, so there you go. And then, then you've got your two bundles going on in there. I would thought we might spend a little bit longer on stats. Evidently, we're not going to. So let's turn our attention instead to the remodel of the technical zone. And I'm not 100% certain how I'm going to do this. Uh, have you got any seats left? No. Okay, well, you will have in a minute. Uh, without unpausing... Who is this? It's uh, Mikey Power Tools. All right, Mikey, go stand out there for a minute, would you? Because things are about to occur and, and you don't want to see them. Uh, demolish this room. Say goodbye to the Arts and Crafts room. There we go. All right, I'm going to have to unpause. All right, okay, wait. Unpause. Saying goodbye to the arts and... Uh, you, you, you just kind of have to go cancel the task, which is what it popped up before, and then tear it down.
boom. Ah, Mikey, stand there. Otherwise, I'll lose you and we won't know where you're supposed to be. Although, there is the little question mark dude button up there. Right. Now, the overall scheme that we're going to work on here is I think I'm going to want three uh, reproduction rooms so that I can get three separate titles being po propagated at the same time. I want this lot front end so that if someone back here wants to go to the loo, they don't spend the first three quarters of a day crossing the room. So let's go for a little bit of uh, click on the room and then that's a redesign room. Yep, 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 redesign the room. Uh, so if we now pull this out here, I know where I'm putting the corridor. I'm going to put the corridor down the edge towards the no one ever needs to go there zone. It's really annoying that you can't have more than one door on a room. I'm just, I'm just saying that is quite annoying. I don't need this many technicians. No, no, I don't. Uh, how far do you want to come? Let's go as far as there, right? And then we'll relocate everybody up this end. We'll get it to 25 because honestly, once we finish with this console, I don't know if I'll do another one. I might, but I don't know for sure uh, if I'm going to do another one. So we want to get one work desk in there. Yeah. You're going to want to rethink your layout a bit as well, Sunshine. Uh, am I? Yes, that it wasn't up for debate. That's the thing that's going to happen. Right, that takes it up to 25. Uh, oi, pa no, Power Tools isn't ready to talk to us yet. Fine. Okay, in which case, let's grab the... What's that? That's a radiator. Well, okay, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, well, it's what you've... That's a radiator as well. All right, where, where did I get that from? I've no idea. But we're just... We're stealing them. I want this desk. Thank you. All right. Grab these and just rando place them for the moment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll we'll place them more orderly once I've got them all over here. They, they, that's definitely the wrong way of doing it. All right. Okay. I'll do it now. All right. You. There. Super. Uh, and then let's pack them in a little bit. How much do you want to pack them in? Not that much. That's just mean. Well, why don't you start down here, right? Get these radiators out of my sight for the moment. In fact, if we put one there, then we'll we'll know that that's that's a measuring stick. Oh, I think you'll find it's a radiator. Yeah, yeah, very clever. Uh, right, yeah, bit of that. Yeah, you come over here. They're all going to figure out their new seating arrangements in a moment. Radiator's in the wrong place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Now we're now we're cooking. Uh, yeah, aren't we? Aren't we just? Yeah. No, it's house flipper. Uh, yep. Boink. Yeah. Radiator. Yeah. Boink. All right. This one. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to delete that bit in a minute. You see, that's what that's. I mean, I said that. So, you know, you should have been paying attention. Oh, look at that. It fits like it should do. Well, that's tremendous. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Keep going. This is, I think we're actually on to what could arguably be called a winner here. Uh, right. Now, I'm going to leave a gap in between the rows for furnishings uh i've i've heard that technicians like a good furnishing and therefore i'm going to facilitate that for them uh, yeah right okay yeah all right and you yep uh that one's now a little skew with that's gonna that's gonna upset some people they'll be okay with it because they'll go no look i accept that there are limitations to just how symmetrical you can make things it's fine. It unnerves me a little, but I will get over it. I, I will live through this and we'll be all right. I'm not going to panic. No, look, if just why, 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 why? Just tell, turn off the snappy thing. Uh, that, right. And then just slide it in the middle. There you go. You've got your own water trough next to your electronics. I'm sure that's going to be safe. And then tell you something else. No, I probably ought to put a radiator there. All right, I won't tell you anything else. This can probably live down here. Little radio. Just in case you feel like, you know, having a moment with the, the top of the hit parade. Uh, just once in a while. How's the temperatures looking? You're good. Temperatures are good. Oh, well, that's a surprise. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, bang another one of these over here. You've got a spare radiator. Not for long, I haven't. I'm going to sell it. 
do you not want to put it out in the corridor? No, because I'm about to delete the corridor and, and, and refurnish all of that area. Right, do you need to do anything else then? You've got 25 seats, which is what you wanted. Um... No, I think we're I think we're probably all right. You find a desk. You just put him on a desk. Yeah, I think this is probably the best way to do it. That way I'll know I haven't assigned more than one person to a desk. You don't know what you're doing now, do you? All right. Find a desk. Right. You on here. Yeah. Yeah. The the desk placement system is not necessarily the most precise I've ever come across, but I'm pretty sure that these urchins will all figure it out. There you go, Mikey. Got a desk for you. Everybody else has got a desk. So we're going to cut it off along here. Yeah. Okay, back to modifying the room. Modify the room. This is... this is Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There's a clock that isn't... All right. Okay, go again. John, just do another quick check. No, yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, no. The removal men won't do their job until you've actually taken everything out of the house. Uh, give me you. Right. And then... Uh, Get to bulldoze. And it's going to complain until I remove all of this. Whoa, wee, whoa, whoa. What did you just do? Don't do that. Now what have you done? Well, I'm holding down the remove button. It won't allow you. You've got to remove from the back going forwards. Okay. All right. Do that and then do the last of it. No, wait. Do the last of it. There. Super. And it is super, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Good. Right. That is now sorted. How long it will stay that size, I wouldn't want to start guessing. But I will guess that not that long. Right. The warehouse. What do you want to do with that? Nothing at the moment. Um, what I want to do... Why are we having three production rooms? Okay. We're having three production rooms so that I can run uh, duplication on three different games at the same time. If you put one production room in there, it will just do one game, and then you tell it to do another game, and then you tell it to do another game. And that's that's not going to work for me. Uh, so, uh, so that's the reason there. And what I actually want to do here is I want to move the stock room so it's all the way along the back. Yeah. And then put two production rooms in front of it. All right, how much space does a production room actually require? I would imagine not a huge amount, right? Uh, can we reshape the room here? Boom, boom, reshape the room. Tick, 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 tick. It must be a minimum of five by five. That seems awfully large for something that just inhabits a piece of machinery. Are these both five by five then? They are. I should decorate these. Yeah. What a, what a colossal waste of space. I mean, yes, you could put two machines in there, but I don't need two machines. Rarely is it that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do that much gear all at once. Uh, okay, well, what are your alternatives? Um, uh, ooh, ah, see, now there's a, there's a question. Yeah, okay. Can we just cancel that? No, you're going to have to finish the job. All right, well, put the door back in. Right, and that'll be a zero cost. What I need to do now, move that into here. All right, grab this room. Yeah, no, I don't need to buy anything else, not right now. That room, blow it up. Super, and we know that that's five wide. So we can take this all the way down there. You haven't got corridor space if you do that. Pants. And have you... Are there ten here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, there aren't ten there. There are nine. Oh, flipping heck. And it, and all is not lost. You could you could re restore that room there. Yeah. Put another one in here. And kind of bend this... Or put another one in here. And bend this round to fill the rest of the space. I don't like it. No one's telling you you have to like it. Just do it. All right, okay, hang on. Uh, yeah, production. Production? Production. Surely it's production. It might be production. Put that in there, because we know it's five by five. Stick a door on there any way you like, because it doesn't really matter. Okay, that actually gives me this batch of four here that I can use as part of the store. The storeroom's going to be a weird shape, okay? Get comfortable with that conceptually. 
because it is. All right, you in there. Oh, it's almost like you've just spent the last five minutes accomplishing nothing. It only seems that way. Uh, the facts are not that. Right, okay. And then uh, put another five by five in there where you can fit it in there. No, I don't need any more machinery. Thank you, though. Uh, production. Yes. Uh, right, from here. One, two, three, four, five. Down to here, which is also five. It's an enormous amount of space. Uh, and then we'll have the doors all facing each other so that when the things try and come out in and out of the door, they go, oh, excuse me. No, sorry, excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. No, excuse me. It'll be like an Ealing comedy at its at its peak of uh, hilarity. Right, now you reshape the room. Yep. Uh, squirt that in there. Okay. And then, uh, and then continue squirting over here, down there, and then all of this lot. Now, I'm not trying to fill the whole... I mean, look, the warehouse space I had was perfectly adequate. Um... I just want to make sure I'm getting the most out of the space that I've got. So uh, so facilitating additional stock storage, I think, is a good thing. And what I think is the only thing that matters. So there's that. Uh, heavy duty shelves three. Am I only rocking twos at the moment? Are they twos? Uh, you could pick one up and ask it. I think they are threes. Yeah, I think they're threes. Okay, turn the snap back on. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we want. Can I fit another one in there? Yep, you certainly can. And another one in here? Yep. Ah, great. Yeah. Stock appears to be automatically moving itself around. Are we concerned about that? Oh, no, not really. Okay. I'm either going to make it so that it looks like people could get around the stock room, despite the fact they don't need to ever, because it's all transported using magic and voodoo yeah there you go but i think it will it will look quite artificial when it's finished i dread to think just how much space we'll have in here um i'm gonna guess at quite a bit yeah that was probably quite expensive that i and i didn't really need to spend it but hey ho right how much space has we got 4.3 million units worth and i'm using just shy of Three quarters of a million. Well, there's there's that. <laughs> there is that. What what's where whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this gold bar silver bar business? Those are the jobs you've got queued up. Is it though? Unpause so everybody can go find a desk. There we go. Right. Yeah. That's it. Everyone's everyone's finding a desk and they're finding it so much more desirable than it was previously. Uh, oh, Cybersword versus Lord Cyclone. Someone's figured out how to draw in colour. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, no, no, that's going to that's gonna make all the difference in the world, that is. Um, right, there you go. That's it for today. I, 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 I did tell you at the beginning it was going to be a Statsy episode. And I have not... Fa Hang on, I've got one more bit of change to do. Oh, what are you doing? Well, we've got some space here, and this is something else that I thought in my spare time when I was alone, um, which is, firstly, just put that radiator anywhere for the moment. Uh, I'm going to make my merch shop bigger. Yeah. Does custom, customer support doesn't need any extra help, does it? You'd have to cancel the task to look it up. I'm pretty sure customer support is fine uh, the way it is right now. I want to wait and make the merch shop bigger because... Uh, fellow me lad here, Jerry Surge is already making more money than his salary. And therefore, a few more people making more money than Jerry's salary can only be a good thing. How are you going to do this? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it, these are all basically just CS rooms. Yeah. Uh, I've got this space. I don't want to delete a room. It's really easy. Cancel that. Yeah. Okay. Cancel this. Okay. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Hush now, child. I know what I'm doing. Um, all evidence to the contrary. Uh, and then redevelop this room 
Jerry's going to go. But I was enjoying running the shop. I'm going, oh, I'm sorry, Jerry, but you don't run the shop anymore. Uh, the shop is going to be somebody else's uh, dominion. In fact, I might have quite a few people in there running the shop. Look at the size of it. That's magnifique. Yeah, whoever's in here could do the time wasting. This is going to be the new shop zone. Door. Yeah, okay. Uh, door. Okay. Do we need a radiator in the corridor? I think we're probably good, aren't we? Yeah, you're all right. Could do with one more radiator in here. Well, that's fine. I'll put one in the corridor. I'll retrieve it in a moment. Uh, right, work desk. We've got two in there, but they're really crowded. Yeah. I'm all about the e-commerce. That's what that's what I'm all about. I'll have them all knocking out Vuvu Boys books. Uh, all right, there you go. Yeah. How many are you going to go for in total? I think, you know, five will probably be the right number, but I'm going to get six desks and just uh, just assign them kind of here and there. Like you are doing. Rather like uh, this is, that's ugly. Yeah, I'm sure you could make it quite pretty if you put your mind to it. Uh, I'm not sure I can be bothered putting my mind to it, though. That's the thing. Uh, yeah. Here, that's horrendous. But it, it is very Web 2.1. Well, we're not at Web 2.1 yet. We're at uh, we're at Web 0. No, no, no. We're at Web 1. It's 1998. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Images flipping. I'll just stick it in there and be happy. Right, okay. Give them some something to motivate themselves. Medium-sized cabin art. Yeah, that's, that's usually the way to go. Yeah. You know what else? This room is going to be full of people day and night from other departments, all of whom are coming in and going... Don't suppose you've got a T-shirt in my size, have you? Don't even by uh, by any chance? Because whoever it is runs the swag cupboard. Is where have I just stolen that from? <sighs> Anybody's guess. All right, well, put it in the corridor here. Uh, unless I've got one there already. I haven't got one there already. I put one in the corridor there. Uh, corridor's a great place for a Brucey bonus. Don't get sick cupboard. Uh, yeah, you by the door. Yep, nothing better than warm in the corridor. Right, the merch room. Rename the merch room. You are now time wasting. Time wasting. You see, we're we're going. We're aiming for the twenty first century now, and uh, and we're changing everything to lowercase and uppercase rather than just all caps. Um, we'll revert back again when styles and tastes change. You are uh, e commerce. E commerce. There we go. Hang on. No, wait, wait. You've got that wrong. E-commerce. That's the one I'm happiest with. It's flipping ridiculous. Um, good. Right. Are there any idiots out there who want a job at the moment? Uh, sorry. Are there any really useful people who uh, can come and help us? Office worker. Pamela Kai Hyon. And she is what? Stupid. Okay. Then we'll take uh, Martin Ullug. Okay. Hi, Martin. Uh, you only need one character changing there. Martin Slug is going to come in and work on the e-commerce. Lovely. And uh, I did notice there was someone else there as well. Uh, Quint Albert. Um, okay. Yeah. No. I'm, you know what's good? Having some royalty. Yeah. So that's uh, that's Prince Albert. Yeah. Fill in your own humour, people. Uh, right, there you go. There's that. Now, you get to work on Manage the Fan Shop. And you better do a good job. There we are. You, time-wasting, you get to work on doing fan campaigns and go straight for games convention. There you go. Yeah, nothing else matters particularly. Right, turn off the temperature gauge. Right, we've got three now working on e-commerce with room to expand. Eventually, quarantine will be moved because it shouldn't live up here. But that's that's the way that reorganisations always work, is you end up with a, a short period where you'll have departments that just kind of go, I feel like I'm behind enemy lines. And that's because they are. I've been Colonel Failure. I'll be back next time when we'll do the usual kind of caper. This was an unusual kind of caper. Next time, usual kind of caper. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch up with you soon. Cheery ho ho ho!